Jefferson Parish School System wants to pay teachers on average about $3,300 more a year, and they're taking a second chance at a tax proposal right here in Jefferson Parish to get it done. The raise need a, a lot more substantial pay. Raises for teachers is a popular idea, but passing a tax to pay for it in Jefferson Parish is not. Voters turned down a teacher pay raise tax proposal in 2017, and now the school system is coming back with a new version. The new proposed plan gives teachers and support staff, like cafeteria workers and custodians, an average of $3,300 more a year, and it would cost the average homeowner about $1.65 more in property taxes every month. There's nothing more important in our educational system than a quality teacher in front of every single child. And right now, given the base of revenue that we have, we're unable to compete with surrounding parishes. Jefferson Parish Superintendent Dr. Cade Brumley says 40% of new teachers in the parish move on after their first year. Veteran teachers leave at a rate of 30% each year. The reason, Brumley says, is pay. I love the teacher pay raise proposal. I'm a teacher myself. Jennifer Beach teaches fourth and fifth grade in Jefferson Parish. There's a lot of work that goes into trying to plan for your lessons and, and pay for things, you know, get your supplies. A lot of kids who, who come to our schools don't come with all their school supplies, and a lot of times teachers provide that through their pockets. But people I talked to off camera said the tax isn't fair for parents already paying for private school. And some said that's the reason they voted it down last time and will vote no again next year. The tax proposal is on the ballot May 4th. Reporting live in Metairie, I'm Jennifer Crockett, WDSU News.